Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, so let's proceed with our analysis of the euro currency. So our prediction that we have discussed recently has happened, but it was not very strong. It's a well, moderate pullback still for intraday performance. It was not really very, very uh, short term. And actually, this was possible to make some money on it, uh, protect the position with the break even stops. But with the, all the stuff around possible intraday long positions that we were discussing in the last few sessions, uh, we call you to not lose the major direction. It's because on a daily chart, guys, the major pattern that we are considering is bearish. And particularly speaking, we have this potential head and shoulders. Or it's failure. We will see. But for now, it's potentially bearish pattern. It has all signs of the bearish pattern performance because even to the uh, swing to the downside you can see that it was reversal slows here stand below this one which is very good for the bearish pattern deep upside retracement after reversal swing it's also normal it looks really harmonic and whatever bullish context we're considering inside uh, on the fall time frame chart I recall the major thing that in fact we are watching for a forming of the bearish pattern on intraday charts around this top yes we suggest that probably some intraday targets has to be reached or at least uh, we would like to, uh, that they, they will be reached. But in general, uh, the, the major stuff that we are watching is a bearish. So that's what we have to remember. Today we, we will get another two important numbers in PPI and retail sales. We'll see what will happen. But for now, uh, market starts forming some bearish signs. So first of all, on the fall time frame chart, let's take a look. Market is turning down after yesterday's upper reaction. Potentially, yes, we could suggest that maybe it might be the part of line market could complete this OP, this upside extension in some, some way, um, especially if the data will be supportive. But what I do not like in the current circumstances is the performance on the dollar index and 10-year bonds, actually. So if you take a look at the, at the, the dollar index, you could see that here market has formed clearly seen bearish grabber, uh, sorry, bullish grabber. It suggests upper continuation above this area yes it has no target above this level just because minimum target of the grabber is a local top to the left from the grabber it stands right here and potentially you could see that uh, the, the butterfly that we're considering could be formed if even the the, the grabber will will, will be uh, completed right so for, for example market could uh, just take it out of this top complete the grabber and then turn down again on the dollar index it is possible but for now you could see that well this pattern is obviously stands not in favor of the bullish continuation on the euro currency that's why if you still would like to make a bet on the daily release on the completion of this target it would it would be better to do it at as close to this loss as possible just to minimize your potential loss so if market will start dropping back somewhere to the 109 10 109 15 with the stops about 20 pips probably you could consider it uh, as possible action because currently it, it will be better to not risk too much on long positions uh, first because of the grabber as i said and second if you take a look at uh, performance of the 10-year bonds you could see that the yield is rising in recent few sessions and rising yield it's supportive for the dollar actually why we see currently the retracement on the dollar as well and correspondingly not really pleasant moment for the all dollar rivals including the euro so from that standpoint of view recent action was well not very superb so it was great old not very fast um and it was not able to keep going right to the op market starts dropping from that standpoint of view this um it seems that it's appearing some weakness on the market um, from this upper performance upper prediction so that's why for considering taking long position as i said it would be better to, to do it as close to this loss as possible and also understand that uh, well currently risk is uh, growing 
with this possible reversal because don't forget our major direction is bearish and we're considering bearish passion around this level on the lower time frame on hourly chart what particular pattern might be formed so uh, also you could keep an eye on this trend line that might be formed here in the market performance around it why it is important because if market will start showing signs of the symmetric triangle or, or pennant very 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 uh, harmonic pennant that will be at least some bullish signs so when the market forms this type of action in the target stands above chances on the possible last our prediction is increasing so uh, because this is uh, clearly bullish passion will be formed so you can see a lot of stuff to consider for the bulls so those of you who would like to take the long position for the short for the bears it's a bit more simple it's just because you need to see and just watch for possible bearish reversal patterns around if it will happen around this uh, resistance that we have on the daily right there it's one or seven one or nine seventy it's simply this task is more simple and uh maybe we get some clarity on the day to release but for now the major headache right now stands for the for the for the bulls so we'll have to make the decision on the entry whether to enter or not to entry if you decide to enter where it's better to do it i suspect that's somewhere around this trend line closer to the 109 15 area so that's what might be some perfect entry if even uh you will be wrong the market will collapse your loss will be minimal so it will not be a really significant loss in uh, this trade so that's actually what we have on your currency let's keep watching